Outstanding. Hello and welcome again to another tutorial video. It's your boy El And today again we there with another video. And this video we go call it a Javilani type beat. Yeah, and we go break it down how we really make this beat. Now, without further ado, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification button, and select all notifications. And there's a bunch of goodies on my website at elradoproductions.com. So please do check it out in the link in the description below. And don't forget to like this video. If you don't like it, you know what to do. So, without further ado, let's dive into it. Anyways, I'm playing the key of G sharp minor. And my tempo is 100 uh, with point sub 400 years so because for some reason we couldn't get the groove really right at a hundred directly. So I had to, you know, something over this side me, me really have to move it till we reach a four and we get the groove of this beat right. So there are times when that does happen when you know you have a certain groove in your head and it, you're not really not the way you're supposed to now you just adjust the final increments so the first sound on this list is a sound from purity and it is called marimba there's a lot of time i use that um preset and this is what it sound like and this is what the chord progression looks like So, um, I use it in triads and I use suspended notes. Now, suspended notes are easy to make, but I just wear make them sometimes. So, this is the triad. This is a suspended second. This is the triad. This is a suspended fourth. So, it is easy. So, hope you learn something new that you can implement it in your beat and get results. Next song is another song from Purity, and this one is called Electric Viola. It's a string sound, and this is what the chord, prog chord progressions look like, and this is what it actually sounds like. Yeah, really, really sound nice. As I can see, I didn't start on the grid, I start practically off it you know so that's one of the reasons why i couldn't get the groove right like the drum groove i couldn't get it right so i had to make some adjustments so next song on this list is from electra x and it is called it's an appreciated song called lord of the ring whatever that is and this is what it sounds like with the chord progression. So I just keep it simple within the same chord progression, just adding a arpeggiated sound. I have another sound from X Band Two, and this preset is called is a polysynth preset called uh, Puncture Puncture Plus. I think down here I have a different name Sin Scope. But uh, it is what it is. So you can look for Sin Scope down here or go into Polysynth and select Punch Up Punch Up Plus. And this is same card progression, but this is what it sounds like. So it slide add some melody wise stuff to it you know and help to fill the beat uh to a certain extent next song on this list is a song from triton and the preset name is dark r&b bass and this is what it sounds like and this is what the progression actually looks like So as you can see, this one starts on the grid 
and it has variation in the in in this, how the bass is played in which you know it give your bass line movements you know you know if it, you know get the people them rocking and you know get the heads nodding so doing it like that in, instead of have straight bass sometimes it you know it straight bass can be a good bass line but sometimes you can add a little bit of movement to your bass sounds and the next song on this list is also from triton and this one is called stein bass pretty much copied the progression and paste it and this is what it sounds like yeah really really nice 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 song uh, next song on this list is from track god and this song is called plug prezi or something like that So it's just one strum at a time, and it it is really is really a nice sound. Uh, next on this list is uh, this. I did not use my drum sounds to make this um, instrumental, but I use the Kashmir drum kit, and I use um, a sound from. Nick Myra drum kit and one song from my drum kit is this Mar Maracat song. This is a vocal tone from the Kashmir drum kit. And what else I have here? I have this one also from the Kashmir kit also. And this is the main drum pattern. And this is what it sounds like. So it is mixed with real drum sound, the synthetic drum sound, and hybrid of some sort. And pretty much that's that's about it. When I come on to sound, now this is what the beat structure look like, and this is what it actually sound like. So hope to enjoy. enjoy this beat it's a really really nice beat and I know you like it so please do leave a thumbs up for this beat you know, really really nice nice beat and really hope you really get something from this beat and you know you can you can get the cashmere drum kit on splice it's it's there you know if you have enough credits you can get everything but uh, one last thing to really emphasize on this video before leave uh, you can make variations in like card progressions and get something totally unexpected so please do make the main card progression and just play around with certain notes at certain places and you can this particular beat is is practically a simple beat but I mean you know it, it just sounds so complex in which it's not it's just layering of sounds and choosing the right sound and you know this particular beat have a different 
uh, drum pattern from normal beats that I would upload. You know, so you can you can really try variants of beats same um, drum pattern same. So thank you again for tuning in. It's a boy Elorado with this particular video, Javelin type beat, and hope to catch you again in another one. Peace out and subscribe to.